Hey folks, happy Father's Day week. Um, remember, 12 minutes a day reading with your child for the next 12 days. So I'm going to read with Quentin now. This book, um, Quentin is looking forward to the um, Finding Dory. I think it's going to be coming out on Friday. And so we're going to read um, Finding Nemo. He likes this book. It's coming out on Friday. Yes, it is coming out on Friday. I told you that. This one, as you can see, um, per page, there's not there are not a lot of words, so um, and pretty colorful, so he enjoys that. But I did want uh, to say one thing: even if your your son or your daughter or your children aren't, you know, three or four or six or seven, um, even if they're in their teens, it's still good for you to take time out to um, read with them. You can read or they can read. Um, uh, you can alternate reading. But the bottom line is you get that 12 minutes of engagement with them. So um, uh, no cell phone, no watching the game while they read, etc. cetera. Um, it's a time where you get to be engaged and actually read with them. Quentin, get off the scooter, please. Come on. Come on, please. So Quentin is just like a regular kid. Um, you're going to have to round yours up and get them to sit down to, to read. But um, bottom line, uh, it's it's invaluable. So uh, something that uh, you definitely should make sure you do. All right, come on, Q. Sit down, buddy. Sit down and start reading, please. Let's keep webbing. Nemo has a dream. He wants to join a school swimming team. And Nemo has a little friend. He thinks that he will never win. Dory helps Nemo. She teaches him to go, go, go. Nemo races and races. Nemo chases and chases. Just keep swimming, Dory sings. But Nemo thinks of other things. I will never win. I have a ba bad thing. Just keep swimming, Dory cries. Nemo. So Nemo tries and tries and tries. And you can take this time out to um, talk to the child about. Um, what they're Nemo reading, races, um, ask races, questions, um, races, get more into races. the actual story itself, Yippee, and uh, Nemo, see what that pulls out. Nemo makes the team. Makes the team. Yeah, he got on the team. He wanted to be on the team, remember? Yeah, but he, he said he makes the team. Mm -hmm. Can Nemo win the first place prize? Just keep swimming, Dory cries. Watch him race. Watch him chase. So Watch this is going to be a warm-up. And then after that, uh, we're going to read the cat in the hat. First pl place. Okay. So this is a book that Quentin um, really likes, and you probably have um, stories or books that your child likes more than others, or they've read before, so this is one of those, um, we warmed them up with that. All right, come on, son. So now we're, I'm gonna switch where he's gonna read some, I'm gonna read some. Um, uh, when you do that, especially, uh, again, it continues to show the support and the encouragement um, in, of reading. Uh, so they understand the import. They they actually see the importance of that demonstrated because you're actively engaged in it as well. And um, as you read, you are also um, uh, without actually having to teach, g providing some lessons or best practices of of how to do that. All right. So we're gonna read the cat in the hat, Dr. Seuss. You ready, buddy? Mm -hmm. All right. I'm gonna read the first one, and then you're gonna read the next. Okay. The sun did not shine, it, it was too wet to play, so we sat in the house all that cold, cold, wet day. Now you. I sat there with Silly. With Sally. Sally. We, we sat, sat there, we, we two 
Wait, I said how I wish I had something to to do to went to go out and to go and play ball and to go too cold go to, to play, play ball. Ball. Yeah. So we sat in the house. We did not nothing at all. Right. So all we could do was to sit, sit, sit. And we did not like it. Not one little bit. Sit down, buddy. Sit down. No more getting up. Let's, let's, let's do our reading. Go ahead. On this side. I did that already. We just turned the page, Quentin. Huh? We just turned the page. Come on, read. Oh. Um, no, no, we did it. So this is part of our reading, okay? So we just was here, over here. Okay, so now you're on this side. You're right. And then something went bump. Something went bump. How that bump made a jump. Made us jump. Just jump. We looked, then we saw him step in on the mat. We looked and we saw him, the cat in the hat. And he said to us, why do you sit there like that? I know it is wet and the sun is not sunny, but we can have lots of fun. That is funny. All right, so now you. Go ahead. I know something good games we could play, said the cat. I know something new tricks, said the cat in the hat. I, a lot of good tricks. I will, I will show you, I'll, I will show them to you. Your mother, well, not mind at all if I do. Okay. Then Sally. You're supposed to read the next book. I read the next page. You go ahead. Then Sally. Then Sally. And I did it not know what to say. Our mother was out of the house for the day. All right, folks. I'm going to go ahead and um, continue to read with Quentin. And um, again, 12 minutes per day for the next 12 days, fathers. Read with your kids. Happy Father's Day week.